Hey Terrarians, how's it going? My name is Pixelated Fireball, and welcome back to Secrets of the Shadows. And as you can see, because why not, finally, for the first time in the entire Let's Play, the one event that I have been waiting for, for I don't really even know how long exactly, probably for the last, what, what is this, episode 9? The last nine episodes now, a slime rain is finally happening, and there is King Slime, and he is about to get pulverized. I've maximized ball power here. We've got all the hornets out. Look at that. Look at that damage that's just kind of subpar. Here we go. We'll let the waves do some damage there. There we go. How about one of those? There you go. Kind of not looking good here, King Slime. Not looking good. Really not looking good. I'm surprised he didn't teleport after being stuck there in that awkward space. Maybe that's the secret to cheesing King Slime now instead of having him just, like, run away from him or stay too high above him. Just get him stuck diagonally. Got a new weapon, it looks like, though. Got two new weapons. Fire Spitter. Okay. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that's a rare drop from a blue slime or something new or... I'm not really sure, but okay. Uh, well, that definitely covers my gel situation here, which, you know what? I swear that's actually perfect because I'm going to be defeating the putrid pinky today. Or, you know, I'm going to use my imagination and pretend I am because I have heard that he, she, I've seen pictures of it, and I'm not really exactly sure what it is. But yes, anyways, like I said, we are going to be taking down the future of Pinky, which I, uh, yeah, like I said, I've heard it's a very challenging boss fight. Hopefully we can do this relatively quickly. And the reason why I say that slime rain was just perfectly timed was simply because, well, I need a lot of gel for goop wood or wormwood or whatever it's called. I don't remember exactly, but uh, that kind of covers that, resolves that problem right there. Actually, I could make the wormwood set now. Not that I would really need to because, you know, it's a summon set and what I've got right now definitely, definitely outgears, uh, Anything I could have got that early on in the game. Let's just grab, we'll say, actually, you know what? Let's pretty much put all of them in here just to see how much of this stuff I can make. I don't want to use it all, though, but I think I need goop wood for a lot of stuff. I've got 20-some of it right now. Let's just grab a bunch. Any accessories I can make out of it by chance? Um, other than the slime staff can make that gel wings. Wormwood set there. Everything looks like I need corrosive gel, and I think that comes from my good old buddy... Putrid Pinky, so that's great. You summon it with peanuts, so that's good. I've got jars of peanuts. I collected many peanuts from my murder of treasure slimes. My wholesale mass slaughter of all things treasure slime. But anyways, it doesn't really say that I need to be any particular place or at any particular time here. I just can summon them at any time, in any biome, utilizing these jars of peanuts. Not exactly sure why exactly I would need that, but uh, sure, whatever, it likes peanuts. That's okay. I like peanuts. They're great. Not like peanut butter. Is that like an inferior form of peanut to this thing? We are definitely going to find out. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, without any further ado and other such words in that nature, let's summon them for it and see what happens. Hmm. 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 Okay. Hello there, fellow. You got an eyeball. Oh, there it is. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah. You're begging, aren't you? I didn't grab enough snowballs for this. Oh, that's not good. Oh, no. All right, well, it looks like my summons are doing fine here, so I might have to go actual pure summoner. How does it feel, everybody, by the way, actually watching me legit use summon as a way to kill something? Where did it go? Oh, hi there. Oh, wow. Okay. I don't know how I managed to avoid that, but I did all right. All right, come on. Something crazy is going to happen. I'll just stand here close enough to let my AoE do all the damage here. I just got to avoid the, uh, duh, whatever that is. Oh, wait, I didn't even use my buffs. All right, let's use my buffs. Oh, God. Okay. Okay. I don't know how to avoid that. That seems very annoying to avoid. Ah, God, we're doing laser beams again. I'm trying to keep my eyes out for telegraphs here, but I don't really know, uh, what exactly is happening, to be honest with you. It doesn't look too incredibly challenging, but I can't really get a read on it, you know? I can't really get a read on it. Okay, we're doing this again. Give me some time to regenerate here. Oh, ow, got me. It got me. It may be the end of me here. I might not quite get it. I don't really know what's happening. It's pulling its things back in. It's pulling in its its eyeball things. Might not get it on the first try here, but we might get pretty close. Okay, so now we're going to do that again. No, oh, I didn't dodge it. In fact, I got hit twice by it. Can I avoid here just real quick? Oh, wow. Okay, look, we actually took it down. All right. 
What did I get? Oh, there it is. I was gonna say, did you just not give me a uh, reward for that? That's kind of disappointing. What did we get? Oh, wow. A whole bunch of stuff here. And we got goop wood from it anyway. Okay, and pink gel. Which, are you useful for anything? Corrosive gel. Vial of acid. From flux slimes. Did I miss something? No, nothing else fancy. So I guess that's gonna start spawning now. Foul concoction. Vial of acid. Fragments of nature. Pink gel. Okay. Uh, interesting. What else you got for me here? Oh, there's the vials of acid right there I can use to make that. Can I... Wait a minute, can I get wings now? They're probably not very good. All right, what else you got besides that? Goop wood parasite increases void regen speed by one and void crit by eight. Crit strikes heal small amounts of void. Increase max void by 20, lowers life regen by one. And you are used to make the void space emblem when combined with a whole bunch of stuff that I definitely do not have access to, but that looks pretty good. Maybe that might be something to swap out for the battery. Man, this is what I mean. I wish I had more slots here. All right, what else we got here? You want a death ray? We have a death ray. Putrid Eye. So it is a void magic thingamadoodle. All right, well, let's get rid of... Well, whatever, it's gonna hurt me either way. What does it do? Take this bird. Oh. All right. Well, that's pretty cool. I think I like that. And there goes my health disappear again. Look at that. There it goes, it's all gone. All right, well, I gotta say, I heard this guy was pretty difficult, but uh, that really wasn't that bad. All right, so there's a few things that I can make out of this goop wood. Well, let's see if any of it's of any value to me. There's some summons right there, a wormwood turret, so I guess that's like a sentry. Well, if I'm gonna be summoner, I might as well uh, grab the sentry. Probably not gonna use the eyeball thing, though. That is very cool. I'm gonna keep the goop wood parasite. That looks very useful. Corrosive gel, so it's two pink gel and one vial of acid for two corrosive gel. How many of these can I make? 42. Okay, so I can actually literally make one of these things. So are these like the drops that come from him, I'm assuming? I think that's what it is. Can I make those wings now? Is that is that a possibility? I can, because I killed lots of harpies up there. That's right. Well, fine, let's, uh, let's grab the gel wings. That could be exciting. Won't need the uh, jumpy thing though, though I might need that on there. Look at that. Look at the gel wings. I'm basically a slimer now. Well, I mean, that could be nice. I don't want to get rid of the uh, extra hops, though. All I need to get now is a sandstorm and a bottle, and I can, or a balloon, and I can get the bundle of balloons, which is really good. All right, that's that out of the way. Is there anything else aside from that? Let's pull this up real quick. Um, I don't think there's anything I can make right now. I probably can't make that. Doesn't look like it wants me to. Where's it at here? It's gotta be out here somewhere. Come on, let me make it. Spike, hook, collapse, goop wood collapse. My God, that sounds very painful. There, goop wood scepter. Okay, let's get you reforged. Can I get you forged here? Smay door, don't ask where I found this thing. Uh, should I go with, uh, where are we at here? Is it gonna let me do ruthless? All right, demonic it is, let's see it. That's not a demonic, neither is any of that. Or that, any of those. Well, mystic, how broke am I? Not broke enough to stop. There we go, we finally got demonic, nice. Grab a few more snowballs for the old snowball blaster here. What do you look like now? Oh, nice. Okay, put you up there for the soul leader because I'm not using that thing at all. All right, well, it looks like I've pretty much got everything of value to me right now. I'm sure there's lots and lots of other good things to come from this. So maybe I will try that fight one more time because I've got a few more jars. Why not? Um, yeah, let's just summon them up one more time. See how this goes. We'll bring that out there. Oh, look at that. Not doing too bad there. Nice. All right, we'll have you attack. We'll bring you up there. You focus on that there. All right, this is going to be no problem at all. Especially now since I got wings. Oh, yeah, this is going to be cakewalk. Oh, yeah, look at that. Absolute nature ball destruction. And there he goes again. Somebody better call that chef because, boy, it looks like that cake's walking. And I even got the, the trophy, a well-earned trophy, I will say. And I got the gel wings from it. Okay, well, that's good. Future pinky trophy. What does that look like? Oh, it's just it's just gel on a on a trophy. Okay. Well, that's fine. That's okay. Man, I thought you guys said that boss was hard. You lied to me. It was very fun though. For the first mod boss, I uh, I do like that. That's pretty cool. I can see how it could get a little chaotic. I might uh I think summoner's a little bit busted right now. Of course, I find the overpowered build. Now, uh, here's Smador. You want some pink gel on your wall? I know you do. You don't have to tell me, I already know, I already know. Actually, was that, what was that one there? Those were hard. I get a little bit of extra defense from them. How much do these things sell for? 
A gold? That's actually not bad. What about this death ray? I don't really need it. I know the other one's not so good, but whatever. Okay, that's kind of cool. I like that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Well, if there's anything else really nice that I can make out of this stuff, let me know. I will definitely use it. I guess we'll put on... I don't really know why I kept the worm scarf there. I'm probably not going to need it. I say that now. Because the next place that we're going to go could end up being relatively painful. And I'm not really sure how long we'll spend over there. Because I'm keeping an eye on how long the recording's been going on. And I was told that uh, this place contains lots and lots and lots of farming. So it may be a little on the painful side to explain explore but we'll get there we'll make our way through and it'll be all right but ladies and gentlemen boys and girls we are going to the pyramid and it's gonna be a time because that's like one of the major selling points of this mod for me i've been very excited to explore it ever since i saw the trailer way back when so i'm hyped i'm very hyped up for this thing it's gonna be lots of fun so come on nature balls look at that they're on their way over here ah, take that now we're gonna go inside, just in case you didn't see me open the door in one of the previous episodes. We're gonna take a quick pit stop here. Crack that open, there you go. That's how you walk through a building. There you go, hope you enjoy. All right, let's do a little zoom in like we do for exploring the Lizard Temple and see what we got in store in here. That music's gonna be pretty loud, I can already tell. There we go, we'll dial her back just to chish because I know that's gonna be loud. Snake skin, ancient gold. Oh, that's kind of cool looking. I like that. What's that a material for? Eternal fireplace. Wow. A little bit of rain in the desert to proceed our walking through here. Snake skin. There's that stuff. What do you got here? Oh, is there actually a summon set for this? Oh, wow. It looks like I do need to do a lot of farming for that. One water snake, though, to make four snake skin. Snake skin sling, biomass blast. Am I actually able to make this right now? I, don't, I need the scatter seed. Well, I could make that. I need the yellow marigold. Well, actually, believe it or not, I think there's one of those growing right in front of my base. So, after we're doing a little bit of exploring here, we'll make a trip back. Infected pyramid block. Music box, cursed pyramid. I think I was told to be careful breaking these. And there was also something I heard about some wall mimic that I gotta take outside. What is, what is this? Ancient gold spike. Well, what's in this room that would eat? Why would I even want to go this way? What's, what's the purpose of that? It's just a dead end. Unless it's not. Actually, you know what? Pause. Freeze for just a second here. We have to make an emergency trip back right now because there's a few things that I've got to do. I'm definitely going to bring... There's that yellow marigold I was talking about, but I'm definitely going to go and bring uh, a Spelunker potion because I was told about the hidden chests in the walls as well. This is going to be an exploration. And uh, I'd better empty out my inventory because I'm betting you that uh, it's going to be full more than once. Okay, I was definitely not prepared, but it's, it's a good thing I used my big brain to remind myself, hey, dummy, you need to uh, get yourself ready for this. And I'm going to bring this thing along because I'm still on the fence about whether or not it's actually valuable. I very much so believe that it is. There's the flower spell. There is the scatter seed. And then soon I should be able to get that biomass blast. If that's any of any value. Scatter seed, what do you do? Uh, what? Shoots potatoes? Okay, that's interesting. Okay, now I think we are a moderate bit more prepared for this. Let's go back now. Like I said, though, this episode might end up being a long end, so I hope you're interested in a long haul this time around. This is a cool biome, though, so the majority of this is definitely going to be pretty interesting, at least I think. For me, it will be anyway. I hope you also enjoy it, though. All right, let's try this one more time. I think the main selling point of this is definitely going to be the plot twist of me finally figuring out this obelisk that I have racked my brain with forever. All right, let's drink that Spelunker potion and see what's hidden in here. All right, what do we got here? Let's, uh, you know, okay. Let's not beat around the bush with this stuff here. Can't break those walls. There's the ancient gold bricks right there. You can feel the regalness. Ancient gold bed. Ancient gold chair, sofa, gold door, dresser, throne. Fit for a very old king. Okay, well, we'll just put that back. I love the soundtrack in here, though. It seems very cool. All right, what do we got here? Special chest or some kind of an item here. Mana crystal. Oh. Oh, that's kind of cool. What do we got down here? I can't quite get in there. I can get in this way, though. There we go. I wonder if I have to go fishing in here for those water snakes. Explosive knives. Jury rig drill can break the walls of the pyramid. Might only withstand a few hits. And I can use to make boar bullets. 20% of damage done ignores defense completely. In addition, a flat 10 damage will also completely ignore defense. Wow. That sounds really nice. Royal Magnum. Release golden light upon hitting the ground or enemy. Also, yes, I did notice I almost drowned because I was busy reading. Oh. 
does it just, what does it use as bullets? Just regular musket balls? Oh, that is really cool. And you make the ghoul blaster. So it looks like there's gonna be a reason to come back here again later on. Or maybe not, I don't really know. All right, let's just keep moving here. Also, I kind of want to, I don't know if it'll be any good. Maybe there'll be a bigger body of water, but I do want to try to see if I can find, uh... ah, God, what are you, snake? Snacks in the in the barrels. I do want to see if I can do some fishing in here. I see that down there, by the way. Ma Maligmore? Well, how about Maligless? All right, what do we got here? Oh, there's one of those things. Teratoma. Yeah, hate it when those things shows up. Ah, God, there's one of those. Okay, I'm supposed to try to bring this out. Am I not? This is the thing that I was told to bring out here. Can I, can I free it? Come on. This way. Ah, God, okay. Yeah, you do it on your own. Very good. Well, it died, unfortunately. Or fortunately. I don't really know. Me trying to get myself killed down here. Part one. I'm gonna die a lot. A rage potion. Really? Okay. I'm all right with that. Keep it up. Keep it up. How about I just put that down there? There. There we go. Forgot I'm a summoner now. I don't have to play anymore. Oh my God, what is this? Look at that. There's like blobs in the wall. Are they like, like, like bombs here? Can I break that? Maldite? What are you? Maldite makes Maldite. Of course it does. All right, can I dig any holes here? Deal with that, deal with that nonsense down there. Okay, thank you. Can I get into this here? Please and thank you. There we go, all right. Those things look very suspicious. What is this? Keystone shard? Oh, okay. Okay, what is that? Snake pot? Contain snakes? Oh God, it contains snakes. Of course it does. What else would it contain? Potato salad? Come on now, that's a silly thing to say. Cursed tumor block? Baked beans. I don't get it. What are you? Very strange looking crystals. What is that? God, it's like pulsating, throbbing, blob on the ground. It's disgusting. Absolutely repulsive in every way, shape, and form. So big magic crystal, should I break it? What is that? What is this? Ghasts and teratomas. Get them, somebody get them. Somebody get them. I hit it again. Oh, it's gonna do it. Okay, so there's like, so I gotta break this. I think I heard this has something to do with the boss. One more time. Oh no, it's gonna keep going. Okay. These enemies are actually kind of tough. They're a little chunky. They got some pain they can dispense about with. Oh, come on now. How many times do I gotta whack the thing? I bet if I hit you with a nightmare pickaxe, you'd break on the first try. Anymore? Oh, come on now. Is it just gonna keep doing this until I stop? What is this? You have lost the power of creation. Oh, there we go. All right, got the ruby keystone. Ah, God, what was that? Got the ruby pain is what I got. There is so much in here. There really is. This is ridiculous. All right, well, we'll leave, uh, we'll start leaving campfires around as ways to, like, mark my progress, I guess. Or, like, places to heal here. Can I put this back down somewhere? I'm gonna have to do some terraforming. I also, like, I, I, I was just listening to the music kind of zoned out a little bit there for a second, but I think this new soundtrack for this is definitely gonna fit really, really well with the new desert theme in 1.4. The, like, kind of guitar sound it's got there. I like it. I think it'll be good. All right, and Wall Mimic is gonna show up. No, it's not. Okay, we're fine. God, I feel like... Ugh. I feel like I'm playing Dead Cells trying to do these, like, tight movements. All right, what do you got in here for me? Aten, conjure stars that do 70% damage and explode for 210%. Did he funk God now in flail form? Oh, you know what that looks like. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Where's an enemy at? I need to shoot something with this right now. Oh, I hear something. Come get some. Yeah. Oh, this thing is so cool. I love this so much. That is so nice. So this is breakable here, and I know that it is. So what happens if I vein mine it? Is that a bad? Should I not vein mine things inside this place? Because I'm going to do it. Look at all those wall mimics. And as a summoner, look at all that free loot that I don't have to try to achieve in any way, shape, or form. It'll just fall into my inventory. You know, I'm sure for anybody else, that would be very challenging to deal with, but not for me. Oh, I should probably keep my spelunkers on so I can keep an eye out for this stuff. Let's do it again. Yeah, there you go. Put that up. How about we get we hit him with the Aiton? There you go. Ah! There you go. How about that? How do you like them apples? How do you like it? You there, gas. Ah! Look at that. You don't like that, do you? Beware the power of the Aiton. All right, so yeah, there's a lot of junk in my inventory now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is that a lizard statue? Why is that there? Strange. What are you? Pyramid crate? Oh, nice. Oh, it's got that in it. There we go, gold crate. What am I doing? I should be saving this stuff. 
No. No. What is that? Golden treasure slime? Give me something good. What'd you give me? What is that? Hermes boots and more miners pickaxes. God, there's so much going on right now that is like a lot of the same, but at the same time, I don't want to get rid of any of it. Curse caviar. Oh, you know, that is just what I needed in here. Just what I needed. Oh God, all right. Now things are gonna get really exciting. One of these, I'm guessing has a life crystal in it. Okay, good, very good. Ah, snake, snake, snacks. Not snacks, I don't want any snacks. Oh, there's some things in there we definitely want to get to. More loot flying carpet. It is a material for Spirit Surfer. Decrease void region by 60 while active, though. That doesn't sound very nice. Very nice at all. Look at all that gold. I had better store that before I end up losing it. All right, now, can I break all the... Oh, yeah, look at all that loot over there. Oh, yeah. All right, what do we got in here? Lots and lots of mysterious mysteries. All right, folks, I think we finally found the secrets of those shadows. What do we got in here? Another flying carpet, another angel statue, more of these jury-rigged drills here. Can I use that to go digging for things? Huh, I can't actually use it. It's not going to let me. Weird. Oh, there we go. Okay, we got that situated. What do we got in here? That looked like something new. That looked like something new. Ooh, snake banner. We'll put that right there. I like that. That's nice. Like a snake hanging from the ceiling. What more could you want? Thought regular snakes were bad. What do you see? Ceiling snake. Oh, yeah. That is so much worse. All right, what do we got? Patati longbow. Potato longbow. Fires an additional bounding emerald bolt with each shot. What do we got here? Oh, wow. Look at that. Zigzags. I've got zigzag shots. Oh, what is that in there? I've seen that. That looks like something that I might want to vein mine my way towards. All right, now follow the vein mine. Oh, wait. Can't do that. All right, and now let's... And it got me 185 damage. Man, I didn't even realize I was breaking infected blocks. I thought I was breaking the uh, regular ones with those drills. Okay, fine. Oh, goody. Maybe I ought to just hang out over here until this mess is dealt with. I'll save that ruby keystone, though, because I'm sure that's going to be necessary for boss fights later or something. Uh, let's just deposit all of this stuff, because there's a whole lot going on here in my inventory right now. And I'm not really sure if I really need all this here. Yeah, uh, yeah, I'm just gonna dump that in there, and I took a few things. Oh, good, one of those. It's my favorite. Yeah, come on. I know you want to come up here. Just do it. All right, now that that thing has been dealt with, let's take a look and see if there's anything at all that I can actually make out of that stuff right now. Um, what do we got here? Any new weapons available? Because we're gonna go back. I'm not gonna try to leaf through and do calculations for everything that I need to craft all the stuff, like... I'm just gonna kinda poke around in here and see what I can make with what I've already got. So there's something new right there, Spirit Glove. It looks like I can make that, and the Spirit Surfer I can do right now. Uh, sure, why don't we just grab that right now? That's a, that's a mount. Oh, wow, nice. Look at that. Oh, it, oh, okay. It drains my void? Oh yeah, I'm just gonna die just having it equipped. So that's, that's not gonna work. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, we don't want that. That's a thing we don't want. Make the Spirit Glove. Void region and melee crit. That might be something to hold on to if I switch to a melee weapon at any point. Increase crit chance by 8%. Snake eyes, not bad. Used to make the eye of chaos. The emperor protects. Anything else immediately available? Where's that Indiana Jones set at? I know I saw that over there somewhere. It's made out of snake skin, isn't it? Or leather or something here. Yeah, okay. So I need a lot of snake skin for that. But that does appear to be everything immediately craftable at this very instant. So what that means is I've made a decision. And I think due to what it's looking like, because we just barely scratched the surface with this. We got a long ways to go before we get it all. There's lots and lots to look at in there. So, uh, very interesting stuff so far. But I think I'm going to split it into two segments to prevent making some 40-minute video. This one's already going to be pretty long with all that in there. I don't want to cut out a whole lot of that pyramid because I think that's really cool and I definitely want to show that off and look at everything pretty thoroughly. But yeah, I think all that rambling aside, I'm going to cut things short and I'm going to split into the two separate videos. I'm probably gonna wait until this blood moon ends and then we'll run over there and uh, take a look-see in the rest of the pyramid. It would follow up the blood moon with, uh, with a goblin army. Well, you know what time it is. It's ball time. Peak summoner gameplay right here. Oh yeah, look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, you're gonna get that. Yes, you are. Yeah, look at that. The power of the ball. Look at that. You know what I didn't even realize? Is that I also shoot balls. Look at that. Look at this. Look at this. I got so much ball power right now. I got bee power and ball power. I've got the power of the bee puns, the power of the balls. 
That's right, you people better back off. You goblins weren't expected to get hit with so many balls at once. Yeah, you guys better run from the power of the ball. Oh, you got arrows? Oh, look at that, I got balls. And if you people think I'm being childish for making so many ball jokes, listen, I've gotta tell you, okay? Exhibit A. Okay, exhibit B. Need I say more? Anyways. You got your own balls? Oh, you think you're safe down there shooting balls at me from a distance? Guess what? I'll bring the balls to you! And just like that, the goblins have been unalived again. Alright, so like I said, I think I'm gonna call it an episode here, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and all forms of existence out there. I think I'm gonna call it an episode here. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and checking me out. I really appreciate it. And as always, whatever it is, wherever you are, day or night, hope you have a good one of those. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank <music> you.